Hi everybody, this is me again. Today we are going to move to the next, uh, next chapter, or uh, the next unit you can say. That is uh, the next usage basics. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and now look into the next usage basics. First, it says about logging into the system, changing users. Okay, we will look into logging into the system. Right. So let's say first, let me go ahead and log up. How to log up? Click on system, log out. Get you, or I can also click on shut down. It will ask me do I want to hibernate, restart, or shut down. I'm going to go ahead and now and log out. All right. Log out here. This is how it looks. I'm gonna say get you my password. This is how I log in. That is not the, that's number one. Okay, let's see number two. The desktop environment that I am using is is the most commonly used environment, desktop environment that is uh, GNOME. GNOME desktop environment. So, second most famous or most widely used Linux desktop environment is KDE. So let me click on session and I can choose here default system session, GNOME, KDE or failsafe terminal. We just want to click on KDE and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to click on KDE. I'm going to type this just for this session is it's asking me whether I want to make KDE as my default just like you know when you open a web browser and if you have two browser it will, whenever you open the first one it will ask me ask you whether you want to make it as the default or and when you open the second one it will ask you whether you want to make it as a default the same way it is asking me whether I want to make it as default I will say no just for this session this is the KDE desktop environment. It's loading here. Okay. I mean, I like KDE, but no. Okay, this is KDE desktop environment. Click on this administration. I have display here. And date and time and all the functions are there, there are which are supposed to be here. Let me try to find a resolution here. I'm not able to find. Do you see it? No, I don't see it. I'm clicking on here, settings. Well, I don't see it. So that's a problem because I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of used to uh, GNOME desktop environment. It says. 1920 by 1080p. It's not there. Okay, anyway, I mean, this is not going to be there for you. I mean, I would, if you're learning, I would recommend you to stick to one desktop environment. I will stick to the basic or the no well known desktop environment. That is GNOME, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and now and click on logout. Right, end current session, turn off computer, restart computer, and cancel. So what I wanna do here is I just wanna go ahead and end current session. So it's ending the current session now. Let's see. Yeah. Right. Please don't confuse with that sound. I mean, that was the sound for the Windows. Uh, it's just disconnected the uh, you know, hard drive, external hard drive. So this is it, and this is 
my computer, just my computer, my co it's my computer, you have computer here, you can browse through the file system, you know, what are the files here, you have good use home, and that I have desktop, in that desktop what, are, what, are, what do I have, I have wallpapers, documents, it's showing only three, so these three things will not be shown, okay, even though they are on my desktop, okay, because they are actually above the desktop, so I know it's kind of confusing, don't worry about it, you will come to now, right? So, just don't worry about it. So, this is it. This is trash, I can just empty the trash here, just like near the computer. I can click on help, and I can click on commands. I have desktop user guide here, gedit manual. GNOME Net Tool Manual. So you have all the manuals here if you wanna and I know what turns. So let's say character map manual is there, or GTHUM manual is there, your command line, how to use the command line. So you have entire manual for the operating system. So that is so cool. So if you don't know anything, just don't worry about it. Look in here and you'll find it. Okay? So then we have here I can change now change the screen saver here. I can make it ten minutes after ten minutes the screen saver is gonna come. Or I can make it like this. What screen saver do I have? I mean this is cool. Let me make it one minute here. Alright, so I mean I'm not gonna wait for one minute anyway. So that is it and you can right click on it, change desktop background I can choose my lovely lady here Angelina Jolie alright so hmm well it doesn't look so good here so what should I do I mean see the left hand side and the right hand side it's not right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on this here oh not this one I'm going to click on wallpapers I'm going to click on this one here. Well, I'm going to right click, open with the uh, GTHUMB image viewer. Okay. I'm going to set as wallpaper, center tile scaled. I'm going to say scaled and see what happens. Uh oh, no difference. I'm going to say centered. Well, I didn't like it. I'm going to say stretched uh oh that will be ugly I'm gonna say full screen here hmm this is good this is okay you know and uh, now what I can do so this is lovely lady here so I'm gonna go ahead now and click on close should I yes Okay, so and then what I will do is I so this is how you change the wallpaper and everything. Okay, so you can click on administration again. Then you have to enter the root password or the administrator password that you have sent and or set while installing it. You can set date and time here, time zone, or you know you can if I click here. I should have date and time here. I have date and time here. So instead what I'm gonna do is since this is gonna cover up, I wanna have date and time here too. So I'm gonna click on add to panel so it's gonna show all the widgets are kinda of widget, you know. Not exactly widget, but yes. Can I put it here? No. So these are things. So here are the stuff that I can go ahead and place them on it, right? Place them on the panel here. If you uh, thought that okay, uh, with Windows 7, the taskbar that you see the launch panel. So this is a new idea. No, it's not. But yes, it is an improved idea. They have improved it. Certainly, there is absolutely no doubt about it. So these. So we're gonna just cover the basic stuff here, alrighty? So desktop background, you can actually, I can change the font, keyboard, I can choose the type of keyboard that I want, menus and toolbars, 
mouse, network proxy, I can install the 